we've seen more actors and actresses at the PSL this year than we've seen cricketers. And with Paul Ashraf, one of the best to come out of Pakistan. A half of Surf XL and their slogan, Hardcore Haral, which means never give up, right? Yeah. Now I'm an aspiring Pakistani actor. <laughs> And I'm still fighting to one day be in a Pakistani movie. What advice have you got for me, Bilal? Uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just, just, you know, just, just stay at it, whatever it is. Whether it's film, uh, whether it's cricket, anything that you guys do. Believe in yourselves. Uh, follow your dreams. Dream big and put your heart and mind and soul to it and you'll achieve it. As a new team owner, it's your first season, what are the times of feelings that you get? Oh, I mean, it's been an unbelievable and incredible response, so we're very excited. Chan Masood, how are you brother? Good, how are you Dennis? Uh, obviously star of the Multan Sultans and I've been told by the owner of the team manager that you are his favourite player. The young kids in your team that we should be looking forward to who might be representing Pakistan with a white ball, the red ball in the coming years? Um, definitely Shan Masood. I think he just broke a Guinness Book world record in the domestic format. Mm, that's, I'm flattered to hear that. What have you done? Uh, <laughs> I, think, I don't know, I haven't played yet. We wanted to do something a bit more interesting today and so Shan and I have decided to go and hit some golf balls. So we're going to get the driver out and we're yeah. going to have a, a, a long ball challenge. Yeah. So let's see how we go. Slight hiccup to start with in that I'm a right-hander and he's a left-hander, so we're trying to find a left-hand golf club. It's always a problem with left-handers, they make things difficult for the world. I know. <laughs> the world hasn't accepted us yet. <laughs> Tell me how hard is it to be part of a team that's coming together for the first time? The good thing about Multan is that we've got a lot of experienced campaigners and a lot of players that have played the PSL before and some of them have played it together with each other. So I think in terms of settling in, that hasn't been a problem. And the management, of course, yes, Tom Moody's new, but I think everyone apart from that has had an experience of, of, of PSL before. So I think everyone's linked up things very well together. The challenge in a new franchise as a coach is developing new relationships. And to me, that's one of the exciting things working in this space is you get thrown into a team environment where the majority of them you don't know, along with the administrators, along with the, along with the owners. So to me, it's developing uh, um, that relationship with those new players and management. We should see who can maybe get to the closest to the flag at the 150. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. I'm trying to go as straight as possible. I'm just probably holding out the middle. What do you think is the most important outcome of the PSL for Pakistan and Pakistani cricket? For us, when we sit in the same dressing rooms as other international players, as a, probably a, a remarkable coach as Tom Moody, somebody like Johan Botha, what it does is then the next time we walk onto the international scene, there won't be that difference of saying that we're playing against somebody probably superior to us or somebody better than us. That's the end objective, that to bring cricket back to Pakistan and give the fans there really something to cheer about. Again, another wave of young kids coming through the PSL. Is there anyone out there that's taking your eye? When you hear of unheard names, that's that's the beauty of the PSL. Ibtisam Sheikh. It's fascinating to see such a kid. Uh, you'd probably imagine him being in school, giving his O-level examinations, or being grounded at home. But I think it's it's remarkable that he's playing the PSL. Oh, now then, is he going to take it himself? It'd be a great oh. cotton ball. Well done, young man. It is some shake. From our team, we've got two good guys, Abdullah Shafiq and Saif Badr. It's, it's pretty good that these kind of players are coming on. Saif Badr, one of our emerging players, uh, looks to be a, a good player. And also Abdullah, who's our other emerging player. Both batsmen, both very different. He's successful tonight. He's gone straight up in the air. How much has he got on it? He's got enough. He's got plenty on it. Been given permission to play. He's going to land safely, is he? No, he's not. It's taken. Oh, dear. 
We have Seth Badr, uh, an emerging uh, player for us in the under-19 category. So he's there. Abdullah Shafiq's a big find for us as well. So we're very, you know, optimistic on the fact that these kids are going get to get a good opportunity to learn with the names of uh, Wasim Akram and Tom Moody and Kumar Sangakara in the locker room. Yunus Khan. Hi. हार को हराने में अगर दाग लग जाए तो दाग तो अच्छे हैं सर्फ एक्सेल